Hi everybody, me again. Most people don't realize that you can speed up your Wi-Fi just by changing uh, one little setting in your home router. Most home routers these days have dual Wi-Fi channels on 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi bands. If you live in a built-up area, your signal could be suffering from interference from your neighbors and slowing your Wi-Fi down. So, all you need to do is change the channel uh, for your Wi-Fi to one that's not being occupied by other close by Wi-Fi systems and your speed could increase um, quite a lot as well. So the first thing you need to do is find out which channel your Wi-Fi is using and if your neighbors are using the same channel uh, or one that overlaps with it. So then all you would need to do is move your channel to one where there's lots of space and no interference and then you should see faster Wi-Fi performance. So why wouldn't you do that? It's completely free and simple to do. So you can do this uh, in two ways. First thing we need to do is find out which channel number your Wi-Fi is currently set to and you need to see where that sits in relation to all your uh, neighbor's Wi-Fi. So you can do this on your desktop or you can do this on your Android or Apple phone. So I'll show you how to do it on your phone and on your desktop. So on your laptop uh, or desktop, open up the Windows Store and search for Wi-Fi Analyzer. There are lots of free ones and paid ones. Um, I've installed this one, uh, Wi-Fi Analyzer, um, and it works well for me. So I'm just going to open that one. Um, and once it's open, make sure, of course, you're connected to your local area network. Give it a few seconds to do a scan. And then at the top here, just click Analyze. So here, this is the 2.4 gigahertz network. Up the side here, you can see something called dBm, which is the signal strength. So the higher that goes, or closer to zero, I would say, and then the higher the peaks go, which is uh, each of the uh, the neighboring Wi-Fi signals, the stronger it gets. So here on the right, you can see Asus 2G. That's the SSID of my 2.4 gig uh, Wi-Fi signal. That's currently on channel 13. You can see the channel numbers that run along the bottom, one on the left to 13 at the top. You can see I'm getting a little bit of overlap here from uh, this neighboring one, VM, which I think is Virgin Mobile. And then you can see some others down at six and one. So all these ones are clumped together. So they're all interfering with each other. Mine is as far right as it can go on channel 13. So that's the best I can get, uh, and I'm probably fine because the others have weaker signals. This is a logarithmic scale, so even a small change means there's um, a, quite an a increase in strength of signal. Uh, but if there was some space, I could move that SSID somewhere else. So that's the 2.4 gig one. So if you're finding that your SSID is bunched up, uh, with all your neighbors, then the easiest thing to do is select a clear channel and move to that channel. And I'll show you how to do that in a bit. So currently, I found out that my 2.4 gig spectrum is on channel 13. And then at the bottom here, you can see there's a button that I can select my 5 gig network. If I do that, you can see the situation is a lot cleaner. So in the middle on channel 100 is my Asus 5G uh, Wi-Fi signal and there are no neighbors anywhere near me. So this is already on an optimum channel. Now you can also do this uh, on your phone. So if I just start up my Android phone and I'll show you a similar app, they, they all do uh, the same kind of thing, but I think it's worth uh, exploring a few apps and see which ones you're most comfortable with. So open your phone. If you go to the um, Android store and just search for Wi-Fi Analyzer. Again, there's lots to choose from. Uh, the one that I've got is Wi-Fi Analyzer by Farproc. If I just click on that, I quite like the interface on this one. I've already installed it. This is my 2.4 gigahertz network. So just let that refresh and you can see again, nice visual representation along the bottom are the channel numbers. And then going up the left is the signal strength. Again, remember the higher the peaks go, the stronger the signal. You can see mine in the bright blue on the right is the Asus 2G. It's considerably stronger signal than my neighbors. So I'm on a channel that nobody else is on. So that gets a tick in the box uh, and it's only partially overlapped by the green Wi-Fi signal. But the signal strength for that green one is so much below mine, it probably won't cause 
any problems. But you can see it's heavily congested around channel one and channel six. So if you find you're in a congested area, make a note of your channel number and then make a note of the channel where you'd like to go where it's a little bit clearer. Uh, let me just switch to the 5G network. So these are the lower channels. That's not mine. If I just click to the right there, you can see Asus 5G is all on its own. There's no neighbors um, that are using this channel or even uh, overlapping with this channel. Uh, so I've already optimized mine. Uh, so the next thing, so let's just close that off. And then the next thing you would want to do is go to your router. So let me just do that. So just go uh, to your router's login page on your local area network. Uh, so mine is 192.168.1.1. Yours might be different. This is an Asus router. So your interface, if you've got an Asus router, it will look like this. If you haven't, you'll just have to do a little bit of digging around. But typically, you would want to search for a menu that says wireless and click on that. So once you're in here, you will look for something like the wireless band. So I can select 2.4 or 5G. So we'll have to do one at a time. So on the 2.4G network, if I scroll down, you're looking for something that says control channel, as you can see here. I'm on channel 13. Uh, so if you just click on that, you can see you got one all the way to 13. So based on the analysis that we just did, you would just select another one of these channels and then press apply and then your channel control channel would move to an area that's uh, that's free of noise and interference and then if you've got a dual channel route and you've got five gigahertz just click on that and again you'll see a control channel here i'm on 100 if you click on it you'll see the available channels they will change depending on what country you're in based on uh, local uh, regulations so i'm already on a, a channel that's empty so i'm going to stick with that and then i would just press apply again and then if you go back to the analyzer you would see that your channel here would have moved to the channel that you've selected you could even try doing a speed test um, and if you look at my channel i've got lots of videos on speed tests and how to do them but if you do a speed test before and then do a speed test after you've moved channel uh, if you've moved it to a nice clean space i think you should see uh, an increase in speed of your wi-fi so i think that's the thing that most people don't know about but now you do uh, so no excuses um, get and do a, a bit of a, an analysis and change your channel to a nice empty channel and enjoy uninterrupted high speed wi-fi hope that helps if it does please consider subscribing and maybe even hitting that notification bell so i see so we see each other in the next video take care everyone